Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Austin from Wingfield Media and today it's time for a brand new video. Today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the PowerDevice microphone from Amazon. It is the best-selling lavalier on Amazon, has the most five-star reviews out of any lavalier on Amazon, and it's only 20 bucks. You guys have to check it out. It's absolutely phenomenal. So stay tuned for the audio comparison test towards the end of this video. Hit the like button if you enjoy, and of course, stay subscribed. All right, so here we are with the actual microphone. So now we're just gonna open the box and have a look what's inside. So I don't have an actual knife on me, so we're gonna use this uh, ruler thing that I've got. And is it gonna work? Of course it does. Let's open her up. So this is the $24 microphone. I'm really, really excited for this. First things first is we got a simple, just manual short guide. We'll come back to that later. It's not really that important. Next up here, we have a nice bag. That actually looks really, really nice. Soft material, uh, definitely nice little carrying case for it. Is there anything else in here? Yes. Is that, uh, clean them. Screen cleans, uh, not really that important. It's just kind of other marketing materials. This is what we're here for. This is all we're here for. Let's open it up. So here's the infamous $20 lavalier microphone from Amazon. As you can see, it's got a foam tip, alligator clip, and this is actually a 59 inch long cable, which should be more than enough for most of your filming stuff. Especially if you're just doing stuff like in an office close to the, ca close to the camera, there should be more than enough length. Um, also here you have a Velcro wrap to keep things nice and organized. However, I'm gonna guarantee you I'll lose this in a couple of hours and it'll just be a complete tangled mess in this bag for the rest of its life. And then uh, one thing that's worth noting here is that this is a three and a half millimeter audio jack. It's a bit unique though. It's designed for smartphone use. You can tell because it has the three black lines. That means if you were to plug it into like a Samsung S9 or to any iPhone, you'd actually be able to use it as a microphone right off the bat, which is quite cool. I'm a huge fan of that because, uh, you know, smartphones have such great cameras on them, but the built-in audio is just absolutely terrible all the time. So being able to have a cheap option like this is you can just simply plug and play and use as a microphone is a really, really good option if you just want to get into filming and you already have a smartphone. I feel like everyone nowadays has a smartphone. So offering a $20 mic instantly makes their smartphone a phenomenal recording device. So this is a really, really good option. Uh, even if you want to just do Facebook Lives, this is just a really, really sick tool. It's so, so simple. Um, so there is an adapter, however, to make this work with other devices. Like I said, this actually won't work with your laptop, with your desktop, with your actual SLR or camcorder uh, cameras. There is an adapter. So you simply see the three black lines, you plug it in here. Now there's only two black lines. This will work perfectly if you, like, I'm gonna use this with my Lumix G7 SLR camera because I'm, I need to get some good filming done and this is gonna get some really, really nice audio for me. So that's kind of the plan for me, but of course you could use this even for Skype and, or something like that on a desktop or laptop. Now also included is an extension cable. This is 79 inches, so this is more than you should ever need. Once again, you have the nice little um, Velcro tie around it so you don't lose it and keep in mind that the extension cable also has the three black lines so if you were to actually use this with a lavalier mic you'd go uh three black lines straight into the extension cable and you have the extension cable go to the two black lines and then you're good to go you can plug this into any device you want now lastly we're gonna have go over go look in the bag here it does come with two foam tips by default which is quite nice in case you lose any because i lose these all the time so that's really a nice feature so pretty much this is a, an incredible out of the box experience of everything you possibly need i swear to god the adapter alone is worth like five bucks the extension cable is worth at least five bucks and you get a lab with it, offer 24 bucks Canadian, which is like 15 bucks US. So, and this thing has so many positive reviews, like hundreds of five-star reviews. I can't wait to see how this actually works. All right, so now it's time to really compare the audio. So by default, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare my Lumix G7 audio with the audio on this brand new lavalier. So uh, for just comparison, uh, so you guys know what's up, I'm standing about two and a half feet away from my camera right now. And I've got nothing on my camera. No, no like shotgun mics. I've got the, just the pure stock audio that's built in. In comparison, I currently have my lavalier plugged in to my iPhone, which I'm recording a voice memo from. So you guys can hear the comparison. You know, what sounds better? A stock Lumix G7 built-in mic or this brand new $24 lavalier microphone? All right, so now I've got two mics. I'll be looking at uh, this Boya mic, which I actually got in one of my wireless lavalier packages I bought a while ago. The wireless lab ended up being terrible, like the system itself was trash, but the wireless lab, or the actual lab itself wasn't that bad, so I ended up actually using it for quite a while. My recent videos uh, all use this lavalier mic. And of course, I've got the new $24 power device 
uh, lavalier mic as well plugged in. This is an interesting look, but you guys can see how they actually both sound. So the Boya mic actually, I don't think it was ever really intended to be used because it comes in a wireless system like this. And typically if you want to invest money into a wireless lavalier system, you already have a wireless or you already have a good lavalier. So uh, it's just kind of, I'm testing a super, super cheap Boya lavalier microphone compared to this $24 power to wise I just got from Amazon. So you guys can see the difference between the two. So this pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In conclusion, I am a huge fan of this mic. I will absolutely recommend it. Even if you already have some baller editing and audio equipment out there, this is definitely something you might want to look into as like a fallback, as a fail safe. It's so inexpensive. There's no excuse for someone to not have it in their recording arsenal. It's so, it's so cheap, so light to carry around. I definitely will recommend it 10 out of 10 incredible product. So anyway, this, this pretty much wraps up the video. So if you enjoyed it, definitely drop a like rating down below. It means the absolute world to me. How many comments, questions, concerns, or requests for future videos? Leave them all down in the comments. I read them all every day. And of course, stay subscribed with the bell so you guys know when I post. Stay subscribed for more content like this, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks.